St. Louis-based Precision Virologics has made significant progress on a COVID-19 nasal vaccine. But that's not all the academic spinoff is working on. We're using gene therapy. We're taking the gene for the antibody to express anti-COVID antibodies in the lung. Dr. David Curiel's research team at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis has designed a novel gene therapy for those who are infected with COVID-19. And in January 2021, the research received an added boost of more than $400,000 from the National Institutes of Health. This relates to people that have already contracted the disease. So we're not trying to immunize them, we're trying to protect them. Curiel is professor of radiation oncology. His lab receives about $2 million a year from the NIH, with considerable funding dedicated to COVID-19 research in 2020. That covered the initial stages of this gene therapy research. We've developed gene transfer vectors that deliver genes to the lung, genetically inducing the expression of the antibodies in the lung. His novel vector platform for gene therapy uses a method of gene transfer for antibody treatment and protection. We genetically induce susceptibility to COVID. This involves Dr. Michael Diamond, professor of molecular microbiology and of pathology and immunology at Washington University. And Mike Diamond has developed genes for these antibodies. So now we just have to put them together and test them in a model system that Mike has developed. Diamond is scientific advisor for Precision Virologics. Basically take a piece of the virus, the spike gene, which is the gene that is the target of antibody responses and also target of T-cell responses for that matter, and then stitch it into um, what was another virus. In this case, um, it's an adenovirus. You take the spike gene, and you put it in a defective adenovirus, so it's a defective virus. And so we use it as what we call a vector, a way to get the gene that we want, which is in this case the spike gene, into cells very efficiently because viruses know how to deliver genes. It has the DNA, which then encodes the mRNA for the spike gene, and then you produce that protein, and that protein invokes the, uh, the immune response, but that adenovirus never spreads again. And that induces immunity right there. The person's lung makes the antibody right at the site of action. This is different from what's offered by pharmaceutical companies like Regeneron and Eli Lilly. Those are monoclonal antibody therapies that give preformed antibodies. One strategy for people who already have COVID and are sick in the ICU is to give antibodies, like former President Trump received, Regeneron antibodies. But there are a lot of problems with that. You have to manufacture them, you have to upscale them, you have to purify them. That's why Curiel hopes to deliver antibodies by means of gene transfer. The goal is for the therapy to protect people from COVID-19 if they have been exposed or to treat them if they are suffering from infection. Our strategy conceivably lets them develop antibodies with an hour. So we're excited that this can evolve into a rapid protection that complements the ongoing vaccine efforts.